everyone, welcome back. Today it's all about a glam yet very wearable holiday look, party look. This time of year, of course, New Year's Eve is on the forefront of our brains. Personally, it's more than likely I'll be spending New Year's Eve on my couch, binge watching something and cuddling up with my dogs, but it's always good to have a go-to party look. You never know when you're gonna get a last minute invite or change your mind. Now, I did a video recently that was sponsored by Nordstrom, and this one is as well, where I did a different kind of beauty haul. I basically gifted myself a whole bunch of amazing products, and today I'm gonna to take those products and put them in action on my face. So if you missed that previous video, I will link it above. Just hit that little I and it'll be down in the description box, as well as all the products that I'm using or used before we got here, all the links, all the shades, all the things. So to speed things along, I do have my foundation concealer and under eye concealer and a brightener on. I know that sounds like a lot of products and I also already did my brows and a light layer of mascara. I will list all those products down in the description box, all of them from Nordstrom. Let's finish up this face. First of all, we're going to do some contouring. It's a party look. This is the time to bust out all the fun stuff because I personally think that obviously going to the party is fun, but the party prep, getting ready and doing a little more of the extra part is just as fun. Now this contouring, I don't really have a guide to contouring because it really depends on your face. My face is a little more square or round and so I want this side to recede a little bit so it looks like it's a more oval shape. So I'm gonna darken, now I don't do this every day, but I'm gonna darken the sides of my face, the lower part, and it's gonna make it look like my face is a little more angular and more oval. And I'm also gonna get a little up here because anywhere you put the darkness makes that part of you recede. You can blend this in with any kind of dense brush. Of course, you can use your fingers. And what I really like about this contour is it doesn't make the makeup underneath it move around. My foundation is not gonna disappear just because I'm dabbing this on and rubbing rather intensely. So we're gonna try not to move it around the face though and keep it where we want it, where we initially put it. The only time you're gonna to wanna to move that contour around a little bit is on the edges of your face, like your jawline, pull that down onto the neck so it's not just this distinct line of demarcation. And you can also soften this line here. Like I said, getting ready for a party is when we don't hold anything back, we go extra. So let's add bronzer on top of contour. You notice that this is a distinct difference in color. This is a warm tone. This is like a suntan in a compact. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Foundation. It has a, an official name, but it's very long, so we're gonna go with that. I'm taking it directly onto the same brush. I'm patting a little bit off on the back of my hand, and now I'm just going on the high points of my face and then blending, blending, blending with circular motions so that I'm a little bit warmed up. Remember, most parties are in the evening, so if this is an evening look, you can go a little more heavy handed with the bronzer because the lights will be hopefully a little bit more dim. Does anyone remember those old school makeup mirrors? I had one in high school that had the little dial on it. You could turn it from office lights, which were basically fluorescent, to um, evening look, daytime look. Pretty ahead of its time if you think about it. It was just a very cool tone, a neutral and a more warm and dimmer look. And I'm gonna do a little bit across the bridge of my nose because that's where sun would hit it if I ever saw the sun without sunscreen on. That never happened. Sure, we do need to set all of this good stuff though. So let's brighten up the under eye with the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. Can you see the difference in how it just looks seamless? I'm also going to take some on the edge of my puff and just kind of go down the middle there. A little reverse contouring. Okay, quick set on the rest of the face so the cream products stay put. Now let's add some fun powder products. This is not the time for minimal makeup, so I'm actually gonna add another powder bronzer. I don't know about you, but when I'm getting ready for a party, I tend to grab products that are my tried and true favorites. I always get a little you know, anxious or excited about going to a party, and the last thing I wanna do is worry about my makeup or I'm gonna have some sort of makeup fail. Oh wow, look at that. Woo, this is why you do not need anything underneath it. This is the Dior Luminizer. So it's always nice to have a dependable product on your face so it's something that you can control. Let's do a 
tiny bit there. And now we need some color in this face. This has been the runaway favorite for 2022, the Dior Rosy Glow Blush. I have been playing with blush placement and I've, for me, been pulling it a little bit farther back on the cheeks because of the way my face is shaped. I'm doing a little research on that and I'm enjoying it. Not so much in the center of my face. I'm trying to pull the eye away. All right, the face is done. Let's do some eyes. So I already actually did my brows. So I'm gonna start with something that is a great base. And this is also a great way to do your makeup during the day. And the next eyeshadow palette after this that I'm gonna introduce is what you would grab if you're going from day to night or more conservative or casual situation to the actual party. So this little palette, it's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. There are essentially two palettes in here in one. One is more neutral or cool toned and then the other one is more warm toned. I like to just mix them all up. So I'm going to start with, they're all matte. So I'm going to start with the shade here all the way at the end. The other reason why I am reaching for the warmer shades in this one is that the palette I'm going to be using to really glam it up in a very casual, understated way, maybe not casual, understated, is all cool toned. So I wanna to balance out all that cool toned with some warmth on my face. So just a light dusting, you can even add it a little bit onto the lid, and then just take a smaller brush, same shade, and run it under the eyes just to kind of anchor the look. Now I don't have mascara on my lower lashes. We'll definitely add that at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and deepen the outer corner with that second shade right here. It's probably not necessary, so I'm gonna be light-handed. Okay, here's the star of today's show. Comes in its own dust bag. Oh, oh. Okay, I can't sing, but this is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Nude Dip, and I feel like it is a fantastic companion piece to any basic matte eyeshadow palette that you have. This is gonna be one of those eyeshadow palettes that you might not wear every day, but every time you reach for it, you will be pleasantly surprised. So I am going to start with the lightest golden shade in the inner corner and then work my way across the lid. So like I said in the intro, this is a really sort of understated wearable party look. Even though I am creating this with the intention of wearing it for an evening out, this is also suitable for a daytime look. More of a home party would be good for this. Now I'm dipping into the more pink shade. Another way to really amp up this look would be to take an eyeshadow stick, like a Laura Mercier caviar stick or one from Bobbi Brown, and in a light shimmery shade, put that all over the lid and then add the rest of the eyeshadows on top of it. That would be even more of a shimmery look. I'm just taking this flat brush and I'm patting it on my eye, but I'm bringing it up. I have hooded eyes, so I'm bringing it all the way up to above the technical crease into the eye socket to the tippy top. This color looks like it does nothing until you put it on your eye. So it's the bottom left corner if you're holding the palette like that. And I'm gonna just add this to the outer corner. This is also a great all over lid shade for during the day too. I've done, been wearing this one a lot as a one and done sort of look. And then I'm gonna go ahead and layer again over it the darkest shade. All this layering, this look is going nowhere. This is just my personal preference on where to place shadows. I like a lighter lid that, that sort of ombres out to darker to, at the outer corners. But especially if you have deep set eyes or a totally different eye shape, you can flip it around and take the darker shade that I'm putting on now and put that all over the eye for more of a true smoky lid and then go darker to lighter as it moves up the eye. That's what I love about these colors in this palette is they're really subtle and they're really easy to play with. So the look that you create with this isn't gonna be that dramatic or that much of a wow, what have you got going on on your eyes? It's a really forgiving palette. Now, if you're big into a dark winged liner, this would look fantastic with that. I myself cannot pull that look off, so I'm not going there. I am going to add mascara to my bottom lashes. Alrighty, let's get to lips. So in my head, I have this sort of ice queen, snow princess look in my head. It's all very cool toned and with a sheen or a shimmer. And then obviously the jewelry and the shirt has all kinds of silver shimmer in it and sparkles and all of it is also linked down below and all from Nordstrom. So I'm keeping the lip 
pretty basic as well. But again, I chose this look because you can easily adapt it and make it your own. So if you like a stronger, bolder lip, a beautiful red lip, the eyes are not gonna overpower the lips or vice versa. So it's gonna be a nice blend, but like I said, keeping it simple. But for staying power, we are gonna add a bunch of products. So first I'm going to line my lips. So we have lined lips and then I'm gonna fill it in a little bit because we know at parties, what's the one thing we're doing? We're eating and we're drinking, so your lip products are going to wear off more quickly. I don't love a long wearing lipstick, like a liquid lipstick in this situation, because as it wears off, it just feels uncomfortable and you might not want to be looking around for wherever you left your purse and your coat to go find your lipstick. So layering it in a way that as it wears off, it's still wearable is preferable. So basically all I did was line and fill in and basically leave the very center blank. Then I'm going in with my new favorite lipstick and there will be more shades of this coming to me. This is from Chantecaille. This particular shade has micro shimmers in it. Perfect for a party. And then because I'm being a little bit extra, a little bit, I'm being completely extra today. I'm also adding a lip oil. These things come and go out of stock so quickly. So if you see it on the Nordstrom website, snatch it up. We're basically done. We just want to make sure we're not going to get any of this lip stuff on our teeth. So the very classy way to make sure you don't end up with lipstick on your teeth. You see that? That would have ended up on my teeth. So we just keep doing that until your finger comes away clean. All right, I am ready for the party. I'm keeping my hair simple. I'm not curling it. Just kind of floofed it up. I did go back and kind of re-blow it out using my Dyson Airwrap with the round barrel attachment because this is two day old hair. And then I'm just gonna add a beautiful party scent. This is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Mm, one of my all time favorite scents, especially for evening. It might be a bit much for the daytime, but it is perfect for our evening winter party, especially. It's just a very heady, luscious, Definitely a little bit sexy scent. Doesn't necessarily go with this ice queen look I'm doing, but oh, does it smell good. Okay, we floofed the hair, we have the lips on. I am ready to go to a party, even though that party is more than likely gonna be on my couch. I hope you had fun with this. If you try this look, please let me know. You can send me a picture of it over on Instagram. I'm just at, at Miss Gold Girl over there, just like here. Let me know what your plans are for the holidays, for any parties, for New Year's Eve, whatever you're doing, however you're celebrating. Be safe and have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.